welcome to Inspo Sundays. Inspo Sundays are all about things that inspire me. Things that I look at when I'm planning out my next photo shoot or maybe I'm having some kind of creative block. I'll be highlighting different books, uh, different websites, campaigns, and different magazines that uh, might inspire me or I might have in my collection already. Today I'm very excited to highlight my favorite photographer, Tim Waka. If you know me, you know how much I love him and I'm obsessed with him. He is still alive today and he lives in London, England, where they serve tea for breakfast, brunch and dinner. And you also go to the loo quite often to piss out that tea that you have for lunch, breakfast and dinner. <laughs> um, six months in London, that's all I know. Um, anyways, Tim Walker is somebody who inspired me for many, many years for different things. He changed the way I view uh, fashion and advertising photography. Uh, he took it to the next level in so many different ways. This specific book uh, is called right here, Shoot for the Moon. And this book highlights a lot of different things from his personal projects to different kind of magazine stuff that he's done, campaigns, and so on. Well, now the main thing I want to go over always is when do I pick up this specific book or I look at this website or whatever it might be. I pick up this book in <laughs> actually many times. Now, Tim Walker is mainly known and you might have seen his work. Uh, he does a lot of, uh, actually I think it's a cover, but he does a lot of fish eye photography, fish eye lens photography, which actually inspired me to pick up my fish eye lens that I bought back in high school just a couple years ago and do my own personal project with the fish eye lens that I retired not so long ago because I cannot recreate what he does just yet. But um, so this specific book I pick up for different things. So when it comes to sets, he creates something out of nothing. Uh, the way he creates sets and he takes a room and transforms it to a whole different universe is amazing to me and I'm so inspired by it. He utilizes fabrics and props and just cuts out shadows to create illusions. Um, it really is amazing. He creates these fictional worlds that uh, are so expressive and they really excite me as you can tell. Um, he creates really amazing images. It's like those things that you're like, oh, I see this in my head, but there's no way I can recreate it through photography because it takes so many things. Like I can draw it, but I cannot photograph it. Well, <laughs> let me tell you, Tim Walker will find a way to photograph whatever is in his brain, which is the most beautiful things in the world and every other image on this uh, actually every image on this in this book is quite striking now one of the coolest things about this book is actually that in some pages there's actually this gel this color gel this color gel completely transforms the images you're looking at uh, it's one of the most exciting things and when I first look at this book I, I was too ecstatic about this little piece of gel because it completely recreated the image you look at if you look at it with the gel or without. So in this book, besides the really cool gels in some of the images, there is uh, on some of the pages, there's little text and that text either is a quote of the model that he's shooting that's talking about the process of the work or their history of work. Some of them are direct quotes of Tim Walker that explains the situation of what's going on in those images. One of my favorite images is actually, that probably inspired me the most, is actually an image that was taken of his studio in his basement, which is literally nothing, but he turned it into something. And that's something that inspired me a lot because he made it, you know, all, he creates all these amazing things. You're like, oh, of course he does. You know, he has the uh, he has the funds, he has the people. But really, when you look at it, it's so much more simple than you think. You just have to have the mind. There it goes. So here, there is a really awesome image, and it says the studio was the bottom uh, was in the bottom of my house where I grew up with my parents, and uh, 
this specific studio just looks like nothing but to see the things that he created in that space maybe seeing that there's no boundaries right um so that was really exciting so i do highly recommend this book there's a lot of amazing stuff in it uh he shot people like kate moss frank ocean fk twig solange so like a lot of pop references he shot a lot of, he shot a lot of covers for really cool magazines that i'm probably gonna highlight in some of these inspo sundays um so i'm a big fan of layout and obviously the work that that's inside of it uh one of my favorite things is that it ends uh and at the end there's a quote and it says if you shoot that arrow and it goes real high hooray for you um i kind of like that uh because it's there's kind of literally there's no limit and he you can definitely see that through his work now this book from the last i've checked you can buy it in um you can buy this on amazon it is a little bit pricey it's 65 dollars it used to be double that now it's 65 dollars and it's on the pricey side but i think first you should check out his work uh google it pinterest it whatever it might be uh see if that's actually somebody you're interested in maybe it's not necessarily your style and i really hope that one day you can actually purchase this book because really honestly out of my collection which is a solid collection of books this is the one i come back to personally the most i encourage you guys to check it out and thank you for tuning in for this sunday inspo inspo sunday inspo sunday sunday inspo inspo sunday Sunday, it's full.